Hello, uh, I'm Jen Agapito, Assistant Professor at the De uh, Department of Information Systems and Computer Science of the Ateneo de Manila University. I am also a member of the Ateneo Laboratory for the Learning Sciences and I am the project head of the research that we will be talking about today. The project is titled Lessons for Higher Education from the COVID-19 Transition to Online Teaching and Learning. The main objective really is to determine the ways in which administrators and faculty adopted to emergency remote teaching to provide students with academic continuity when schools had to abruptly shift to online modes last March 2020. The project then seeks to learn about concrete strategies employed by students, administrators, faculty members, as well as technical support personnel to maximize the academic term during the unexpected move to emergency remote teaching last year. It is important to differentiate online learning from emergency remote teaching or ERT. ERT is the temporary shift of instruction from face-to-face -face or blended mode to an alternative de delivery mode in response to the COVID-19 crisis. Findings from the study may have an impact on current transitions to online education in areas of curriculum design, teacher professional development, policy preparation, and technology use and innovation. So far, uh, the results show that across different institutions involved in the study, the response was similar in that technology enabled an immediate response. But the same technology somehow constrained the variation in response largely because of time pressure. Something had to be done right there and then. Class activities that can be facilitated online, such as student presentations, collaborative projects, and discussions continued. Field works were, however, cancelled. In the context of Ateneo, the university tried its best to enact one of its core values, cura personalis, or care for the entire person while shifting to ERT to arrive at a pedagogy that prioritized compassion. Student survey responses indicated that they were not confident about their abilities to successfully hurdle the pivot to remote learning. Some students also did not have the necessary technology to be able to participate in online classes and activities. As a response, teachers became more lenient. The university lent out laptops and Wi-Fi sticks to support the need for devices. After three weeks into the quarantine, it was becoming clear that both students and teachers were struggling. The university then decided to end the semester early and declared that all eligible students would be given a passing grade for the semester. It was acknowledged that this was the most humane way of handling the situation given the circumstances at that time. So key findings such as this can be very helpful in informing institutional planning and decision making in the future. I believe there is still so much to learn from the data that can tell us about the experiences of students and university personnel involved in the instructional mission during the abrupt shift to online last year. I think so far what we have learned is that academic institutions can benefit from having policies that anticipate the possible need for ERT just in case another crisis or disaster similar in scale to COVID-19 happens in the future.